Let's go in. Hello, everyone out there in Facebook land. Welcome to episode four of Help Meets for Heroes or Radical Wives for Radical Men. Today, we are going to be talking about Valentine sex because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. We are here at San Marcos going out to preach at Texas State today. And one thing I said to the students yesterday at Texas State, ladies, just because a boy goes to the grocery store and buys you a rose and a Reese cup, it does not mean you are supposed to have sexual relations with him on Valentine night but there will be a lot of fornication going on on these university campuses as well as other places. But that's not our main topic, but it leads me in to what I wanted to talk about. The students often say, well, are you married? Don't you have sex? Ah, fornication. They actually think that sex within marriage is also sinful or fornication. And this is a view that Augustine, St. Augustine pushed, and some Christians have that mentality. However, ladies, Hebrews 13 verse 4 says, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. So the marriage bed is undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So sex inside the sanctity of holy matrimony is something wonderful and beautiful. It is God ordained. And a lot of us Christian women know that because that's why even statistics say that Christian women have the happiest, the best sex lives. But we need to make sure that our men, our heroes, have great sex lives too, with us, of course. Proverbs 519, and I confess, this is a Bible verse that Brother Jed read to me, I think right before I became a Christian. We were over in a restaurant across the street from campus, and I was asking these um, very questions questions about sex and what the Bible says about sex and he read to me Proverbs chapter 5 verse 19 was well, starting with 18 let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished always with her love. And Brother Jed was sharing with me, I was a wicked, selfish college student at the time, how sex is meant to be a beautiful thing inside marriage. Well, there was another college student who was eavesdropping, and we didn't even know. So he went back out on campus and blabbed. Brother Jed was reading Cindy a Bible verse about breast. But the Bible does talk about sex. You might want to read Song of Solomon with your husband tonight. It's wonderful. And it says here that you are to, really these verses are for the men, commanding them what to do. But we Wives, we help meets, can apply it to ourselves. We are to let our husbands be ravished with our love and to let our breast satisfy our husbands. And um, I just want to encourage you to do that for Valentine's and um, lots of times. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 says, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 2, says, Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and every woman her own husband. 
let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. This is speaking sexually, if you get the context in here, because it's talking about fornication and sexual sin. But sex with your mate is due benevolence. It's a loving thing. It's a way to love them. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. The wife hath not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, the husband hath not power of his own body, but the wife. So this is a wonderful part of marriage. Wives, our bodies belong to our husbands. Our husbands' bodies belong to us. And so I want to encourage you all, uh, have sex with your hero tonight or tomorrow night. Have a wonderful Valentine. Let your hero enjoy you and you enjoy him. And just always remember, marriage is honorable and the marriage bed undefiled. Uh, let your breast satisfy your husband at all time and, be, and let him be ravished with your love. Happy Valentine's Day.